It's my privilege to preside over the awarding of degrees and honours at this ceremony, the University Spring Conferings. Hank congrationem universitas ad gradus varios conferendos apertem esse dico. Adinia Ushle, a Vic Lane, a Corda, Cade Milafoil to Riv Galer, Gudi Colossian Holskola, Kirky. Graduates, families, friends, and loved ones, colleagues, welcome to this very special celebration, our spring conferring at University College Cork. I want to particularly welcome our graduates, the class of 2021, whose magnificent achievement and hard work we're here to celebrate today. I want to particularly extend a welcome also to your friends and family and supporters joining with you and around you, wherever they are in the world, maybe in the room beside you, maybe somewhere across the world, on this incredibly special day. Thank you for being with us. This is a time when friends and family gather with our graduates to recognise all that you have achieved. Today's graduates represent the wonderful diversity of our students, the community in which richness and diversity and their abundant educational and personal attributes. They include bachelors, masters, postgraduate, doctoral students from all of the four colleges here at University College Cork. This is a joyous day for us. I must also acknowledge that today's ceremony is very different from the ceremony we would normally have on our beautiful campus. COVID-19 pandemic has meant we've had to postpone our typical on-campus spring graduation ceremonies this year in order, in order to play our part in the collective effort to halt the spread of the virus and protect public health. I know how disappointing this is, and you know plans are being put aside for next summer, some, whatever that time would be, we're not sure, sometime between June and September, to mark your special day on our campus where we together can celebrate this great achievement with you and your family. As you know, normally on a day like this, the place of the campus is milling around, people with gowns running, scurrying around into the Devere Hall, banging of chairs. Uh, all of that joyous celebration is now in your home today. And there's something very special about that, being intimate with your family and friends. We wear our gowns to have a formal procession and these rituals and traditions bring great meaning and create lasting memories for all of us, for you, for your families, and for us as your, your mentors and colleagues. While this graduation may differ from a traditional one, today is officially your graduation day, and it's a very important milestone that marks the culmination of many years of hard work, inquiry, discovery, learning, and we're here to celebrate. I hope that today gives you a chance to reflect on the time here at University College Cork, on the memories you have, and the friendships you've made during the time when you're on this journey together with us. It only seems like a short, maybe one year, two years, or three or four years since you came here on campus, but I'm sure it has passed incredibly fast. Getting to this moment is a result of extraordinary capacity of self-motivation, talent, and I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations. As a fellow alumnus, I want to say Cogordicus, congratulations on this amazing achievement. The current pandemic has affected all of us, but it's come at a particularly formative time in your lives. No one could have predicted what a final year at University College Cork would have been like. We had hoped that the COVID would have passed at this point and we would have had a very different ceremony here today, but that was not to be. I think at any time to complete a degree is difficult. To complete a degree at this time is exceptionally difficult. But you have endured. You have persisted through tough times and achieved something truly remarkable. Your resilience, your hard work, your commitment have brought you to this moment today. Our people make University College Cork. Our staff, our students and our alumni. Today we celebrate your success as an alumni, as a family. I would like to thank you for your contribution to University College Cork, through your inquiry, through your challenge, or perhaps through your contributions in clubs and societies and other activities or by simply being you here on our campus. Graduates, you've made your own journey on many paths that you've had along up to this day, whether from Cork, Bangkok, Beijing, or Balancholic. Some of you may never have imagined arriving at this point, ready to receive your degree for the first time, or a higher degree, or perhaps the greatest degree and highest award of all, the doctoral award. The uncertainty of life, challenges, and surprising circumstances may have taken you on a, me a meandering path where you had to choose your route carefully at each new turn and intersection. I would also like to thank my colleagues who have worked over the years with you here at University College Cork through very difficult circumstances, particularly in the last year. From the first person perhaps that you met at the gate on your way in, or in the Mardike Arena, or wherever that might be. I want to thank all of those who work 
with me and with you on a daily basis at University College Cork. I particularly want to thank your academic mentors who have nurtured, encouraged and inspired you and maybe every now and then pushed you to become the person that you are today. They've pushed you and helped you because they, reach, they want you to reach your dreams. There are further dreams ahead for you, but we hope that this was a really important launchpad as you embark on this wonderful journey. You know, you might think you've done this on, on your own. Of course you haven't. You couldn't possibly have reached this moment on your own. We rely on your family, your friends, and other people who have supported you to reach this moment and this amazing achievement. Perhaps parents, siblings, friends, or loved ones who have been there for you at the very challenging times, perhaps, and helped you through your studies. I want you now to take a moment, turn to them and say, thank you, Mila Brekus, because their support is critical to your success. I also want to thank them on your behalf and on behalf of the university for all they've done for you to become wonderful graduates at UCC. Your support and encouragement during their studies has been an important part of their success. You must be extremely proud, as we are, of what they have achieved. So today, we celebrate the end of your studies at UCC. I know you might be sad by that, and maybe some of you will be coming back for further studies, particularly if you're at a doctoral level. But today's event also marks the beginning, the beginning of a new journey. You're beginning that journey into an unknown. Perhaps you might be a bit nervous or apprehensive about it, but I'm not worried. I'm confident as a UCC alumnus myself that what you've learned here at UCC has equipped you for the world that's outside, a world that's challenging, a world of huge opportunity. Today, as you graduate from UCC, I encourage you to follow your dream, dreams whatever that might be. As the class of 2021, you join an exceptional alumni across the world of in excess of 200,000 uh, alumni. So let me welcome you to that alumni community. I am confident you will enhance their legacy. I am incredibly proud of you as president of UCC and as someone as a student myself and alumnus. Whatever the role I have in my life, actually I'm most passionate about being alumnus at UCC. I want to wish you well in the next chapter, whatever that chapter is, as you set out on your journey and join the excess of that large cohort of UCC alumni. We want you to connect, we want you to reach out, we want you to stay connected, to enable us to stay connected with you and to support the university in the future. As you embark on the next phase, whether you remain in education, research or in the world of work, I encourage you to use your knowledge well to make the world a better place. The world is challenged right now with climate crisis, infectious disease and digital revolution and the pace of change of work and life has accelerated enormously. And we must embrace these opportunities. The future is now, and you are ready for it as a UCC graduate. You are talented, and with talent comes responsibility. We want you to stand out as a UCC graduate, as articulated in our graduate attributes, to be independent thinkers, creators of knowledge, to be socially responsible and effective global citizens capable of making a positive contribution to the world today. We want you to change the world to make it a better place. And I'm absolutely confident you have the ability, the capacity and the experience here from UCC to enable that to happen. I also encourage you never to lose your desire for learning. I encourage you to continue in engaging in lifelong learning. So finally, it just remains for me to say a heartfelt congratulations. I want you to celebrate your achievement. I want to be proud, you to be proud we are incredibly proud of you. I look forward to the day when we can come together in person to celebrate your graduation. Until then, good luck to each and every one of you. We are so proud of the class of 2021. You've accomplished great things and you're going to accomplish even more. Corgardicus, thank you. One of the great characteristics of our conferring sermons in recent years is having a guest speaker. And it's a huge honour for me to introduce one of our distinguished alumnus, Dr. Philip King. Philip is an acclaimed musician, producer, radio presenter, filmmaker, and founder of Other Voices Television and Live Music Series. And he's our special guest this afternoon. Philip was born and grew up in Cork. He attended University College Cork between 1969 and 1972, and most recently was awarded an honorary doctorate in music in 2018. While studying at UCC, he immersed himself in college life, seeking out fellow musicians, connecting with great people like Sean O'Reilly and Leo Murlaha, playing music and studying. Philip's musical talent led him to become a founding member of the Irish band Scullion in the mid-1970s, probably more familiar to your parents than to you graduates today. He 
He has recorded many albums and has also won acclaim as a songwriter. In 1987, Philip set up a television production company, Hummingbird Productions, with Newell O'Connor and began producing high-quality, acclaimed television series for series Bring It All Back Home, which won Primetime Emmy Award in 1991. The production in 2001 of Other Voices, Songs from a Room, a music series for RT television, filmed in the beautiful church of St James's in Dingle, County Kerry, broke new ground. Not only did it celebrate fresh and innovative Irish voices, it also served to highlight the potential for rural areas to be centres of cultural production and sites for creative industries. In 2020, he produced a great acclaim, The Other Voices, Courage series, which featured artists performing a selection of iconic cultural and heritage locations around the country. The series has an amazing reach of 15.8 million viewers in, and viewed in 87 countries across the globe. On a weekly basis, Philip presents a show, South Wind Blows, from the RT studios, perched on the western tip of the Dingle Peninsula. Philip was appointed to the Special Committee to the Traditional Arts in December 2003, and he served in the Arts Council of Ireland. In recent years, Philip's launched Ireland's Edge, which brings together high-level influencers and thinkers from a range of sectors, including members of di diaspora, foreign direct investment companies, artists, academics, commentators, and policymakers. Philip believes that there's a world of opportunity waiting to be exploited in the intersection between the artistic and technological worlds. To quote Philip himself, Irish people are naturally imaginative, creative, and innovative, bringing STEM and art together to create STEAM will offer Ireland a comprehensive and competitive advantage. Irish people are recognised around the world for our creativity, and we need to build on that, the strong links that we have to all of those people across the world and left to create something new which we can be all proud of. I'm delighted this afternoon to invite Dr King to address you. Thank you. There's more on an orthodox of a live or in law. Fear, fear, the shield, the shot. President O'Halloran, chairperson of the governing body, Dr. Catherine Day, distinguished guests. It was a great delight, President, to accept your kind invitation to give the spring conferring address in this most challenging of years, 2021, and to give it to the students graduating and being conferred today from the four constituent colleges of the university. College of Arts, Celtic Studies and Social Sciences, the College of Business and Law, the College of Medicine and Health, and the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science. It's a real privilege and an honour to speak to all of you graduating today across such a range of disciplines, across the STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, maths, and the arts and humanities. You're the generation that will own the future. Can I offer my sincere congratulations to you all on navigating successfully the very rocky, rocky road of COVID and congratulate you also for your very hard work and your very great achievement recognised here today. My own expedition since I left UCC has been in one way or another the coagulation or of some or all of these disciplines involving tradition, translation, transmission, and all forms of encodement. I've gone from acoustically, with no microphones and no equipment, singing a song in the Alam Maxima to 50 people, to this year, producing events that collapse distance at the height of COVID isolation with a reach of 46 million that offer hope, courage, and the mental strength to keep on keeping on. Everything I have done in my life could not and would not have happened without my time at UCC. It was a magical time. It was a time of innocence and wonder. And my experiences in UCC have left an indelible thumbprint on every aspect of my life. 
The first steps of my winding musical expedition were taken in UCC. The poet Walt Whitman has always been in my ear since I first read him in the library in UCC overlooking the quad. Be curious, not judgmental, he advised. And then in his wonderful song of the open road, which is just so appropriate for your graduation day today. And listen to what Whitman says. Aloof and light-hearted, I take to the open road, healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me, leading wherever I choose. Henceforth, I ask not good fortune. I myself am good fortune. Henceforth, I whimper no more, postpone no more, need nothing. Done with indoor complaints, libraries, querulous criticisms, strong and content, I travel the open road. Having been on that open road now for several decades, I sense that right now there is an ever greater need for a shared, common, grounded sense of Ireland's story. A story you will carry with you wherever you go. What have we all learned in the last 100 years since independence? And what has been our real contribution and impact on ourselves and the world over the same period? The role that a STEAM agenda, the sciences, creativity, culture, and the arts working together can play in supporting Ireland's strategic positioning in a world that is paradoxically more connected than ever, yet increasingly divided and atomized, will be so, so important. It's a highly competitive, fast moving world where technology is increasingly dominant. We are a small country, yet we manage to remain relevant and influential in so many areas. Through my work as an artist and producer, I've been able to build relationships with individuals, companies with global footprints, who identify Ireland's creativity as one of its most important competitive edges. This is because creativity is a complex bundle of many things. And those of us who work in this world understand exactly what that means. We live with very high levels of uncertainty and access to relatively limited and sporadic resources. We're gig economy veterans. We understand the concept of job security, but it doesn't really apply to us. We are resourceful, agile, adaptable, opportunistic. We need to be good at making a little go a long way. We need to be expert at finding creative approaches to solving problems. We need to understand collaboration and cooperation. We embrace diversity. We challenge, we fail, we excel, but we are motivated to keep on keeping on. One of the most important things that we do is that we create new things, new intellectual property, new ways of seeing and thinking and doing. My view is that there is now a significant convergence between what creativity and the arts and the sciences can offer and what Ireland needs to add muscle to its strategic positioning and its approaches to areas as diverse as health, diplomacy, trade, education, FDI, GDPR, etc. We in this new creative community embody the values which the rest of indigenous exporting services and product industries must emulate. Authenticity, excellence, creativity, inclusiveness, differentiation, a unique contribution that is recognised and valued around the world. Many say that given the state of the world right now, we are looking at the end of liberal democracy. 
We can't deny the pernicious influences at play. Say, for example, in the case of Brexit and the turbulent and destabilizing events in the United States over the last while. We can no longer take democracy as we have known it for granted. If we are to continue to have the sort of open, free and fair election process that we have and remain an open democracy 100 years after independence, we must begin to regulate those companies and platforms that would seek to undermine our hugely valuable and very hard fought for democratic process. We also certainly know that the old order of Homo sapiens is being reordered by artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and augmented reality. You know this very well. The machines are going to do things that we humans used to do, so it stands to reason that anything that cannot be automated will become very valuable. For instance, in an era of rapid technology development, how will we create human-centric approaches in future innovations that enhance the human experience and wider society? In this new order, we need a new and appropriate narrative. Everybody recognises that the twin pillars of tax and talent that underpin our FDI, Foreign Direct Investment Strategy, are shifting. We must create the conditions where we grow, own, and monetize our own intellectual property if we are to have a wealth proposition that will sustain us as we navigate the difficult and challenging road ahead. Our universities must be funded adequately with a view to holding the value of all of those ideas, all of that research created by brilliant students and wonderful researchers. It's really important these days when authenticity is such a powerful motivator of people's choices and decisions that we tell our story using a narrative that is authentic and credible and not led by marketeers but using marketing insightfully to reflect a more accurate picture and sound of Ireland. The idea here is to use these uniquely significant opportunities to design a new and better approach that more accurately reflects the attractive complexity of Ireland, the advantages of doing business with Ireland and the confidence to be Irish wherever you are in the world. So as you begin the next leg of your journey, can I offer you every best wish for a joyful journey as you head out on the road ahead. You are equipped for that road with the gift of great education, with the gift of the great natural resource of imagination. This complex world will need your energy, your ambition, your imagination, and we will need those things to address the existential issues of today, climate, political turmoil, to create enriching options for a challenged society. You will be the change agents, the generation of graduates that will refresh, reform and reorder Ireland as it enters the first decade of a new century of independence. Good night, live. Dr. King, thank you so much for your good wishes and words of encouragement for our students on their very special. I now call on the head of College of Science, Engineering and Food Science, Nunc Advoco Principem Collegium Scientiae Artis Ingenieriae et Scientiae Sibariae. Thank you, Interim President. My name is Professor Sarah Cullity. I'm head of the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science and I'm delighted to be able to share this very special occasion with you all. Unfortunately, we cannot be together at such a special time. We are very much, though, celebrating with you here on campus, and I want to assure you that we are all in the college thinking of you and celebrating with you on this very special day.
It is now my great honour to present you to the interim president and attest that your fitting and character and learning to be conferred. Pre honorablus pro vice cancellaria, pro tempore totaque universitas, presento vobus hanc nostre universitas progenium, quam sio tam moribus quam doctrina habilum et edonium S.A.K. Admentator ad Hosonores Insigniaciae, id que tibe fide mea tester expondeo totique academiae. Ego autoritate mihi concesse admito hanc nostre universitas progenium ad hos honores insigniaque. We are beginning with the MSc in Applied Environmental Geology. Dana Margaret Aspel. Harry Broderick. Keen Sean Corcoran. Mark Patrick Dwyer. Asif Olivero Ferrao. Julie Michelle Hayes. Simon William Jego. Yvonne Margaret McCarthy. Vivian Lynn Meesh. David O'Connor. Charlie John Scales. Jasmine Alexandra Spoeri. Chloe Kathleen Sullivan. And we're now moving on to the MSc in Bioinformatics and Computational Biology. Aidan Patrick Began. Darren Buckley. Hannah Maria Burren. Eamon Cooper. Adam Cully. Timothy Osho Hulshoff. Botond Kreitch. Lakshmi Priyadarshini Krishna Swami. Irla Donal McGowan. Marcus Thomas O'Brien. Philip O'Brien. Shane O'Rourke. Stephanie O'Sullivan. David Paul Ryan. Jack Tierney. Anjali Yanamadi. And we're now moving on to the MSc in Biotechnology. Aoife Nicole Allen. Fiona Ann Buckley. Gronya Eileen Collins. Michael Camduam Penka. Denise Kelleher. Kevin Patrick Lally. Dara Michael McCarthy. Rogine Kathleen O'Connor. 
Nicola O'Riordan. Kevin Christopher Russell. Claudia Wozniak. And we're now moving on to the MSc in Computing Science. Amaya Amulada Yaipak. Nipurna Agruwal. Nishi Bamnia. Anjana Bensi. Ganesh Kumar Gopal Krishna Boat. Shank Chandran. Ankur Singh Chauhan. Pushkar Desh Bhushan Desh Mani. Sharmi Dev Gupta Vidi Shailash Gandhi Projwal Gopal Nikaish Vijay Kumar Hegde Anusha Manohar Javali Neil Keshorbi Jotani Bijoy Jos Kaichapili Kajel Manohar Kakede Harshal Sadanand Kasli Umkar Kulkarni Dan Jack Lipsky Vamsi Krishna Nula Aaron Timothy O'Donohue Rishi Raj Rajan Sawant Somyai Singh Robert Allen Stanton Sachin Kumar Tarikate Suresh Kumar Punish Rajesh Verna Anish Vishwanathan And we now move on to the MSc in Data Science and Analytics. Shivam Kisle Suhani Alina Ale Alfi Alex Siva Subramanian Bala Subramanian A Yusaman Deep Pranish Dingra Vijay Lakshmi Guna Sekarap and Dian Gosham Guru Swami Francois Xavier Maximilian Hippert Sh 
Shubham Karjaya. Manin Kalra. Jigant Kumar. Timothy Martin Lane. Gagun Makiza. Needy Mantale. Navia Malem. Alan Gerard Murphy. Ian Murray. Gautam Musavite Kumaresh. Carmack Lucas O'Callaghan. Stephen Anthony O'Callaghan. Ian Francis O'Donnell. Emma Helen O'Sullivan. Pranaf Suksana. Sean Walter Scriven. Siddhartha Shanmu Haval. Dunica Barry Sheehan. Asha Srivastava. T. Wong Ian Tran. Varshini Valuvan. Rebecca Vella. And we now move on to the MSc in Financial and Computational Mathematics. Ang U O Bo Kieran O'Connor Nathaniel Dureza Volfango Hanrui Yang And we now move on to the MSc in Freshwater Quality Monitoring and Assessment. Jeremiah Asumbere. Megan Patricia Cox. Cecily Muvanga. Matthews Mulanga. Ulumide Henry Omolade Cordelia Samuels And we're now moving on to the MSc in Interactive Media. Wang Le Lao Chen Yi Chen Neve Marie Dempsey. Kelly Ibalu. Jing Fan. Man Li Gao. Tiernan Patrick Gaini. Lu Ping He Sho Chi Chian Ying Jin T 
Te au fiong le. Ting li. Yin meng li. Su chi liu. Sean Lucy. Fiona Helena Lynch. Connor Max Day Mulcahy. Brian Daniel Patrick Noonan. Barra O'Leary. Yu Bo Ren. Angie Ring. Elizabeth Katrina Scanlon. Michael Brendan Smiddy. James Aaron Summers. Jake Henry Spreadborough. Ji Ying Zhang. Xiao Yu Chang. Su Yun Zhou. Ji Meng Drew. And we now move on to the MSc in Mathematical Modelling and Self-Learning Systems. Priyash Razoheb Alapnavar. Talal Marzug B. Aldo Bayani. Dermot John O'Sullivan. Adele Amina Sifi. And we now move on to the MSc in Molecular Cell Biology and Bioinnovation. Romana Amadi. Sancha Lizette Bridget Almeida. And Keisha Anurag Atali. Siddharth Balakrishnan. James Byrne. David Cusson. Abigail Mary Duggan. Linda Mary Hanrahan. Anika Jagannathan. Michael Jack MacDonald. Marie Josephine O'Day. Deborah Mary O'Sullivan. Mary Josephine O'Sullivan. Ye Song Pang. Rachel Duan Quinlan. Janelle Ellen Stanton. Sarin Sunny. 
Many, many congratulations on your graduation. I know this is the culmination of much hard work and I want to thank you for your commitment and your dedication while you've been here in the college with us. I hope your time studying with us has been enjoyable and rewarding and has been a special time in your education and in your career. Throughout the college, we are celebrating and thinking of you today and celebrating your success. I want to thank all the staff of the college for their continued hard work and their dedication to you, our students, and I'm hoping that you will have the opportunity to celebrate your magnificent achievement with family and friends. I wish you every success. We're incredibly proud of our alumni, so please stay in touch. Let us know what you're doing. You will always have a home here at UCC. Many congratulations. It's been an honour to confer you, and once again, I congratulate you on this amazing achievement. I will now draw this afternoon ceremony, the formal part of your conferring celebration, to a close. Hank congratulum universitas ad gradus varios conferendos nunc finitum esse dico. <laughs>